hi guys welcome to another insightful tutorial on this channel and in today's video we'll be learning how to go about the cutting and sewing of this pencil dress with high and low cape attached to the neckline or you call it flounce how do we go about this we need our basic pattern the bodies and the skirts and for the skirts while transferring we'll be making use of this straight line the black line straight on like so because this is a dress and not a skirt we'll be following this straight line and not this curved red line because we are making a dress and likewise for the back piece we'll be following the straight line that we have at the waistline and not the curved red line and since this is a fitted gown, we'll be making use of the side shaping. So we'll be following this green line while transferring at the sides. And for the center back, since it's still fitted dress, we'll be following the center back shaping this way. And for the center back tightening at the waistline, we'll simply go ahead to transfer what we have on the brown paper onto the white paper like so. But we are not making use of it now i'll be explaining later this when we get to the main body we'll simply transfer the markings so this is what we have for the back piece following all the necessary lines we need to follow and likewise for the front this is what we have following all the necessary lines so for the bodies this is what we have you've gone ahead to transfer out this way and for the waistline, we'll also be maintaining the straight line, not the curved line, not the waist shaping for the bodies. And likewise for the back, the straight line, not the curved waist shaping for this. And if you are yet to know how to give out your drafting, the link is in the description box below how to draft your basic bodies pattern. And for the center back tightening here, we'll still transfer it out this way. But we'll be explaining further how to go about this when we fuse the bodies together with dress, with the skirt rather. So let's fuse bodies and skirt together to have our gown. Now, you can observe that the darts are not aligning. So you have about two to three ways of going about this. I've already explained some of them in how to draft your dress pattern and how to go about your blouse pattern. So here now, what I'll simply do will be to do some adjustments. You could see that even the body is slightly wider than the skirt. So what I'll do is to make it equal, which means I'll be taking out some portion around the bodies here for the front. So what this week now, I'll take it out from the darts, which means I'll reduce this that to be this measure, it's just like 1818. So that is what I'll be having. So it's the same width now I'll be using for the skirts. So all I'll do will just be to get the midpoints here, extend to the same length, and I'll connect this way as a new dart legs for the lower parts and also blend for the bodies like so like so so i'm done i'll quickly wipe off this other side so for the back piece you could see that the skirt now is wider at the side this way so all i'll do will be to reshape this and blend with the upper hip line like so and the width of this now will have to be taken out from the darts. I'll be reducing this dart and of course by the time I measure what I have here, this is about up to half. So I'm having about three eight. So I'll simply share it now and reduce this my dart with the same value. And I'll be squaring upwards the middle of this dart. Like so. For more understanding, I'll suggest you look up how to draft blouse pattern so i'll simply now blend blend this way and there's one more thing we need to do here because of the center back tightening 
So this is now our new dart leg, which I'll now need to clean off the other hats. This is a dress without waist seam. It is necessary that we make use of our center back tightening. You usually have an inch now. We are going ahead to share it on both sides of this our dash such that our center back can maintain this straight line and we'll be able to install our zipper easily. So the width of the dart now is here. So that means our dart at the back will be wider than normal, which is this like so. And that's why I'm using a different pen to highlight it. You've gotten that of the blue while we did that. So now is our center back tightening that we are imputing here. So all I'll simply do will be to wipe this off and I'll be able to install my zipper easily without any problem. And yet the impact, the effect of this center back tightening, I'm still going to be having it. So I'll cut this off so that my side seam now do not have any excess. Everything is blending equal. And with this, we are done with all the waist adjustment and shaping for this dress. So the next thing we now need to do is to attach our shoulder lines together. I'll simply do the neck width and neck depth. So I'll attach it together this way. So having attached now, I'll determine my neck width. How wide do I want it? I'll just increase it by about one and a half. Then the neck depth at the back, not too low. Let me do another 1.5. Then for the front, my neck depth, I just want from the neck point. Then we go down five and a half, which means about 2.5 extra beyond the basic neck width for the front. So I'll simply connect together. So here's my neck style line. So I'll go ahead now to cut and with that we are done with all that we need to do on our dress. The dress will still be having side that and waist that like so and it's going to be sleeveless but yet I'm not reducing the shoulder, we just maintain it like that. So this is what we have, the neckline has already been cut. So before I separate the back piece from the front now, we need to determine the length of our flounce at the back and likewise at the front. So for the back piece, I'll be picking my length from here, this way, to wherever it is I want. So I want it as long as, let me do 26, length 26 this way. Then at the front, I will be picking it from here at the center front and somewhere this around the waist like below the under bust so i'll do length 10 this way so to calculate now i'll need to measure the neckline this is where we are attaching the cape the flounce here so i'll measure the circumference of this neckline gently like so so what i'm having here is around almost 13 but not up to that we are having this way so and of course this is just one side of the front when you have i mean of the neckline which has to be two so i'll simply fold my tape measure into two so i'm having 26 inches so that's the circumference where i'm attaching and using our method which is the laparis method or the formula for calculating flounce we have l plus r times two equals to d and now which can simply be broken down into L plus R. The times 2 means we another L plus R, which is D. So here now the length of our flounce on one side is actually 26. So I need my R will be looking up the R here. The circumference of where I'm attaching it be measured as 26. So checking the Laperis table and the guideline, this is circumference 26. So what radius will be giving me that I have four here. So is this four now I'm going to be imputing here plus four. The other length I'm doing at the front is 10 plus the same R, four. And that is what will give me the D, which is the dimension of fabric. 
this formula that we developed helps us to be able to know the dimension of fabric. You agree with me that when you are cutting your flounce, it's, it's waste fabric and they are not too careful. You have too much excess and short edges. But this Lapeyre's formula helps you to know the exact fabric, the width of the fabric that you need without any form of wastages. So if you need more insight into this, you could join our pay class on flounce where you know how to draft and cut flounces in diverse form. I've already done one sample with a skirt that we did sometimes ago, which is this. This was another way of cutting your flounce. What I'm teaching today again is another way, but for more insight and diverse form, can you join the paid class? So back to what I'm doing. Length here is 26 plus the second, I mean, radius four. So I have 30 on this side, and on this place I have 14. So by the time I sum the two together, I have 44, which is now the dimension of fabric. And this dimension is usually a square, a perfect square. So I'll be drafting, cutting out 44 by 44 to get this done. So, so here's my fabric cutout. Length of the Ankara print is actually 45. So I still have it like this. And here is the breadth. So I have to put it on fold. So this is, you can see 22, which is also 44. So you first put it on fold into two this way. Then you'll be folding it this way again into four. Just like cutting your circle flare. And that's what we are doing. So here is my center point now. So all I'll do will be to take the measurement. And since I folded into four now, I'll be having 22 is what will be needed. By the time you spread it out, it's 44. So from here, I'll be measuring 22 this way to get a perfect circle, 22 this way, 22 this way, 22 this way. So this is it, 22 inches all the way like so has been chopped. So I'll cut. So have a cut like this, we'll spread this way to properly drop the flounce and from this end now, I'll be picking the longer length for the back, which is 26. So I'll simply mark this way. And from the other side now, I'll be picking the other length, which is for the front 10 inches this way. And by the time you measure from this point mark and this other point mark, we'll have eight, which is the summation of the radius of four and four for the other side. So what I'll do will be to get the midpoint, which is this four. So from this point to this point, I have four. From this point to this point, I have four, which are the two radius for the two sides. So this is the midpoint. So all I'll do is to place this mark point, the two mark points together this way, like so. And of course, I'll be left with the radius of four inches. I measure it again to cross check from this point I have my 10 from the same point I'm having 26 you can see this is 10 this is 26 and here we have the radius that we added to each one which is 4 4 so at the midpoint I'll simply measure the 4 all round to get my perfect circle and even if I cross check the circumference at that point of course, it will automatically give me what I have. This is about six and a half. So it now depends on how elastic, the elasticity of your fabric now guides you to know whether you will actually cut on this point mark or you could come upwards or go down slightly. Because if you cut on the same line and your fabric is very elastic, by the time you spread it, it might give you much more than what has been measured. So I'll simply go ahead, not really cutting on the line, just slightly off. Though the fabric is not that elastic, this is African print, but it's best to cut it that way than for my flounce to be more, and I'll be turning it from sleeves. I want it to remain flounce. So I'm good to go. So this is what I'll be having. So this is the length of the front, and this is the length of the back piece.
so we are done with the flans so for the main gown now i'll be using this one yard of crepe fabric of course it's not going to be enough for the length of my gown so what i'll do is i'll be coming i'll be reducing the length with about six inches both front and back and that part i'll be replacing with the african prints so i'll simply cut and properly label it identifying my hemline this is up this is down and this is the side seam and this is the center back so likewise for this this is cf this is down and side seam so i'll cut it off so having reduced the length so that my one yard of crepe fabric will be enough i'll need to check for my gray line then simply place my pattern on the fabric adding the necessary same allowances so this is what we have the same allowances has been added only the side seam and zipper allowance are up to one every other seam allowance is actually half an inch so i'll go ahead now to transfer the markings of my darts onto the fabric by just simply using pins to pierce it through and to reflect and i'll use my pencil to just mark the transfer then with that we are done and i'll be using the same fabric to cut my lining so here we are the darts have been constructed both on the main fabric and the lining and this is the back side the zipper installed and the lining fixed already so we're going ahead now to join the shoulder and attach the lower part here where the lower parts so i'm going to have to use the ankara fabric to cut those parts and this is that of the front piece already folded into two so that I do not need to worry about the hemline it's been unfold at that region so what I will simply do will be to attach each onto the lining and the main garment like so easily so I'll go ahead to do that and do that on the back piece so this is what we'll be now able to achieve the lower part already attached this way and here is that of the back piece I left this place for a little opening for easy movement. So before we go ahead to join the sides, we need to now attach our cape, our flounce this way. So we are attaching this point to the back piece and we'll be attaching this point to the front piece. So I simply attach and I'll be using the lining to finish it off or needs finishing. Afterwards, we'll do the armhole. Because the main gown underneath now is going to be sleeveless, the cape that will be covering it up. So we will also turn this arm or finishing it up, they will join the sides. So here we are, our garments neatly finished, like so. This is the front piece, and here is the back side. And the inseam neatly constructed well finished here's the wrong side like so this is the opening that gave us the opportunity to do the neat inseam finishing so i'll be going ahead to close up this by simply sewing it up or use my needle hand needle and thread to close it up so that is it so you can actually use this pattern to produce multiple designs using different fabrics Kindly give it a thumbs up, like and share.
share our videos and if you are interested in any of our pay classes the flounce class flat color class dance manipulation kindly contact the whatsapp number displayed on the screen until my next video thank you for watching bye la perry college of fashion raising professionals